What's up guys? Today we will be exploring a battery backup option for the Raspberry Pi or more specifically the uh, home assistant build that we've been working on on our Raspberry Pi 4. Um, what is a battery backup? Think about when you're on your laptop, you've got it plugged in, it's at 100% and when it dies the battery starts trickling away but you don't get cut off. Um, you're able to shut down safely, maybe continue doing what you're doing for a little while. Same concept. Uh, in this case, literally exact same concept. It's a lithium battery. Um, you can get a car battery size UPS, which is a uninterruptible power supply. Um, it literally looks like a car battery attached to a surge protector and this is used sometimes in servers or home theater setups. The general idea is we want a buffer for when the power goes out or something catastrophic happens so that we can save our, our home assistant build. We want to save the data that we're writing. We want to save literally the build itself because as you guys know, if this thing flickers on and off too many times, we might have to reinstall the whole thing. Um, anyway, without further ado, here it is. Uh, it's the battery. It's called the Pi Sugar Pro 2. Um, as you can see, it's kind of like a reverse hat for the Pi. Most of them go on top. This one goes on the bottom. It's got a couple uh, contacts here that when you screw it in, it connects to the bottom of the GPIO pins to provide power and uh, to provide data in the form of the battery monitoring information. Unfortunately, as far as this video goes, the Raspberry Pi Home Assistant build we use isn't based on the same Linux build that their software is uh, based on so I gotta find a workaround for that uh, I will work on that though for you guys and get that in the future so look out for an update but for today I just wanted you guys to know that this option exists all we really need it for is to provide power you don't necessarily need to see how charged the battery is or whatever but anyway that's that um, as you can see like I said the pins here contact the bottom of the GPIO pins and it allows me to still power my heat sink and the fan it's an ice tower if you guys are wondering and if you want to hook up these two simultaneously just take a look at what I did here you want the standoffs to, to act as the screws for that uh, if you look at the documentation for the Pi Sugar and the ice tower they're not going to help you much in this situation now to show you how this thing works um it's got an off and no button <laughs> the no means on how you know i think that's pretty obvious but you're gonna turn that on you're gonna hit the activate button this has got a magnet on it this has got a magnet on it beautiful so let's plug this in and where are we at Plug this in. Um, this thing has its own charging port. Uh, I'm not entirely sure if you need them both plugged in because I've noticed when I plug this in, uh, it, this thing does charge. I mean, I guess if it's like this, it's going to charge, obviously. But once it starts drawing power, um, you know, it's going to kind of mess with the charging abilities of this thing might not be ideal you might want to plug in both and just keep this thing topped off for your emergency situations but like I said let's switch to on let's switch to activate slap that back on and check it out the Pi is up and running uh, my battery does actually have some juice so pretend my house just got struck by lightning or uh, you know something crazy and the power went out look at that still running still running and the battery it's a pretty juicy battery it's got 5000 uh, mAh so you're good for a minute you'll be able to shut this thing down without losing your information uh, another option on here is you can power it separately with like a solar a solar power connection that is an option so that's pretty cool uh, like I said, I just wanted you guys to know that this existed and this was an option. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and jump into the wiki now. 
even though as I said we're not going to be able to use this as our setup currently stands but I'm going to show you anyway all right so here is the pie sugar github go ahead and go to the wiki um, you can hit the pie sugar 2 pro it's a picture of what I already showed you guys um, they got an old picture here we don't have these four lights on ours it's just two on the new ones that's the uh, battery monitors um, you can read about what you already might have or what I already told you about and here Here's the uh, fun stuff that lies behind the wall of our Linux build. Um, we'll go ahead and actually we can just get to it from right here. The Pi Sugar Power Manager. Now, this is going to look scary if you aren't an advanced user. But just like in my previous videos when I showed you guys how to pull Docker images, this is just the same thing. It's just a basic Linux command. Curl means you're downloading this, and you know that's that. Once you download and install it, you'd be able to go to your IP on port 8421 and pull up the power manager. Uh, this is obviously nice just because you you want to know if your battery's dead. Uh, otherwise, you defeat the purpose of this whole thing. But where I can see it really useful, um, if we can somehow get that data to go to Home Assistant. Um, you want to keep a lithium battery in an optimal range. You know, you don't want to overcharge it and you don't want to let it die. So if you have a smart plug and you can pull those numbers and activate that smart plug when it's low and turn it off when it's around 80, 90%, you can keep that thing running for a long time. So that would be nice. And it's something I'm going to work on. But for now, we just have to watch and wish. But soon, my friends, soon. Anyway, like I said, short video. I just want you guys to be aware of the option. Um, I'll link to the pie sugar in the description. It will be an affiliate link. Uh, I always appreciate when you guys click on those. It helps me keep the channel running. Um, stick around. I still got a lot of stuff in the works. Still working on the stuff I told you guys I got in the pipeline in the last video. No spoilers, but uh, the chip shortages are making things hard. Give me a week or two. I'll find something. And I'm going to get you guys the best of the best. So keep watching. If you're new, like, subscribe. Appreciate you all. And I will see you in the next video.